So Tom, when you were coming out in the marketplace with these rackets, you, you wanted to make them different. You wanted to make them better than what's out in the marketplace today. So what are the three things, primarily three things that you, you have on your rackets that, are, that make it a little bit more advantage for the player today? Well, the main thing is the low tension dynamics. That's one. Uh, okay. The second one would be our string count. String count. Our strength. We have fewer strings in our racket than any other of our okay. competitors' What's rackets. The third thing? And the third one is our pyramid pattern. Pyramid. So you got Pyr low tension dynamics, string count, and your pyramid pattern. Well, talk Correct. to us about the low tension dynamics. Tell me, tell me about that. Low, low tension dynamics is simply this: when you spread the strings out far enough in, in a racket. Okay. What happens is so that these are really spread out, I and these are okay. spread out way far. So I mean, spaghetti wouldn't even be able to <laughs> strain this. Okay. Exactly. So okay. so what happens is that when you string this at a normal, uh, what you would consider your normal uh, string tension, say uh, 55 pounds on your on your machine, okay. then what then what what happens is that you actually get a surface tension of about 20 pounds less than that. So okay. a 55 pound string job would equate to about a 35 pound surface tension. Okay. And what that does is that maximizes that actually maximizes the uh, the resiliency in the strings. And when you do that, you maximize your power. What is okay. resiliency in the strings? Uh, the resiliency in the string is the ability of the string to give. Okay. And especially with the new strings out today, the polyester strings which are extremely stiff, um, by allowing by allowing the strings to give more, you maximize the, the ability of that string to stretch and spring back, and that's where you get your power. So as the ball comes in, it sits in there a little longer maybe, gets Pot a little more bite? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So that's Pot where the spin also the comes from. Exactly. So it sits in there, gets a little more, it has really, a, friction of coefficient, you know, co yeah. right. it coefficient has a, of friction. Yeah. It has a two-fold <laughs> two, two -fold effect. It, 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 it helps to, to bite the ball because the ball sinks in further between these squares because okay. they're further apart, so the ball gets in be further and what that does allows the um, the strings to sink further into the nap of the ball so and that's, that's what generates a spin as you're pulling up on it so that's your that's what happens with the string and that's what you call low tension dynamics then that's so, and then that gets you into the second part which is the uh, string count or the count of the strings Correct. Well, those, those are related though, right? The first and the second item are related. Correct, correct. The low tension dynamics and the string count are, are both related. And the fact that our string count is 14 mains on all Vortex rackets, which sets us apart from anybody else. So the 95, the 133, and the 108, all 14? All 14. Main strings. 14 mains. And on a typical racket, you're going to be anywhere from 16 to 18 mains. Okay. So right off the bat, that sets us apart from, from any other racket. So if, I, if I've got a less dense string pattern because of the string count, so what does that do? So you're saying it's, it's different, it sets you apart. So how does it help? How does it help my game? Well, having it, having it less dense does, there's a, it has multiple effects, actually. One being it gives you more power. Two, gives you more spin. Three makes it easier on your arm if you have elbow problems or any any uh, problems with your arm or your shoulder or whatever. The um, the resiliency by maximizing out that resiliency in your strings like that makes it way easier on your arm. So what you're telling me is I can hit more power, more spin, and it doesn't hurt my body as bad. That's correct. Well, that's, I would take that all day. So low tension dynamics, string count. You talked about the pyramid. What does that What does that mean? Okay, the pyramid pattern, if you take a look at all the rockets, you tilt them up vertically like this, you can see that these main strings are tighter at the top and they spread out as you get down towards yeah. the throat of the rocket. I see that. And, and what does what, that do? Okay, what that does is that most people, when they make contact with a tennis ball, whether they're hitting forehands, backhands, serves, they're hitting the ball primarily in the upper two thirds now, of the rocket. I racket. hit the ball here a lot. Is that a, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So they hit it up here more. Correct. Okay. Correct. And so what that does is it, it, it moves the sweet spot, not necessarily moves the sweet spot up higher, but what it does is it gives you more control up higher in the area where you're striking the ball the most, and it gives you more power in the lower two-thirds or lower third of the racket where you miss hit the ball the most. So what so. you're saying is I'll have more control over the ball off centered hits? Correct. So if I miss it, I have more control, more a little bit more power. A bit more spin. Right. That's you, because the strings flare right, out. Right, right. You'll, you, you'll get more balls over the net when you miss hit the ball on a vortex than you will on any other racket. I've seen you, I've You've actually seen, seen you do that quite a bit. I've <laughs> seen you do that a few times too, Jamil. I always, I told you, I always hit the ball the right frame, here. Yeah. yeah. 
This is my favorite shot where it goes and sticks in the middle <laughs> like that. And you're looking around for it. <laughs> well, that's great, Tom. So we've got low tension dynamics, we've got the string count, and then we've got the pyramid. And those are really the three items that really separate these rackets in general, apart from anything else in the market. That's correct. Now, is there anything that they should do different when they string the racket because of these three differences? No, Just no. Our racket tensions, whatever no, they do. No, no. no. The, the string tensions are uh, they're listed on the rackets, and if you stay within those, you. You're fine. So it's not like stringing a T2000 for us old people. No, not like <laughs> stringing a T2000. In fact, the I don't Vortex know what a T2000 is. should be easier because you have less. You have a less string count. Correct. The Vortex racket is by far the easiest and the quickest racket to string on the market today. Just feeding it through much easier. There's only 14 so, strings on the main. So much faster. Stringers will absolutely love us. Hmm. Okay. Now, that's great. I think uh, I think you've got a good product. I'm excited to go out and hit some. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's, Let's go hit.